Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. Get yourself a cup of coffee because I've got a long video here. I could just see it. I'm going to try to go as fast as I can. You know, with the Sephora sale going on, I, I myself am only replenishing some of the skincare that I have used up. And what I've been trying to do is really shop my stash and what I have and trying, we, we buy the this makeup because we love it and then it kind of starts going to the back of the drawer so to speak so i've really been making a, a trying to anyway make a conscious effort to use what i have and use many of the products that that i have loved and i thought well let me share them with you and if you're looking to buy not at sephora but if you're looking to buy some drugstore products, maybe to replenish, maybe there's something that you need and don't want to spend the money right now, whatever the case may be. I thought this was the perfect opportunity to shop my drugstore stash. Some of it you can find, some of what I want to show you, is, you can find it at the drugstore, the majority. There's a few products that do need to be ordered online, but there's very few of those such products, even though I think at this time we're all ordering online. All right, I'm going to start off with the primer. This is the one from Good Molecules. This is, this, this is a silicone-free priming moisturizer. I think it works really well. It, I don't think it does anything necessarily to maybe hide the pores or anything like that, but I think it's very hydrating. It has only good ingredients in it. It works well underneath all of my all of my foundations. And you can find good molecules at Beautylish and following I <laughs> apply my foundations. Let me start off with the sheerest now that the summer is coming up. I know that I, for one, the days that it has been in the mid to high 80s here in Florida, I have basically been using what would be, I guess, considered a tinted moisturizer. And in my stash, I was going through it, and I found one that I haven't talked about for, for a while now. It just works so beautifully. I called my sister and I said, okay, you need to get this. This is by Almay. My shade is Deep Like Me. And what it does, it matches your complexion. It comes out of the package. It is a gray color. But as you start applying it, you start basically putting... Um, I just apply with my hands. But as you start applying it, it starts taking your skin tone. It doesn't provide an awful lot of coverage but I think even with my hyperpigmentation I think this does an incredible job evening out my skin tone this is I'm taking this with me now when I go to Kansas this is one of the products that I'm going to be taking with me one thing I do want to let you know when you first put it on your face it feels kind of like a little grainy it's the weirdest thing once you just place it all around that's it it's fine there's I mean that is totally dry this is very natural looking feels like you're not wearing a thing all right moving on because I've taken too long on that one moving up from your tinted moisturizer into something that is more of a leaning more towards a medium coverage the first one I want to talk about is the Revlon Candid Foundation this is beautiful. It has a moussey consistency. I think it's a little pricey because you get under an ounce here. So out of everything that I'm showing you, this is probably the priciest one just because you're so little in the, in the packaging. But it is a beautiful. It lasts all day. Very natural looking. It has a natural finish. So you're not getting anything overly luminous. If you like a more hydrating, more luminous, then my recommendation is the L'Oreal Visible Lift. This one is a medium coverage. It has retinol. It has all good ingredients. Unbelievable, right? Coming from L'Oreal. But it is gorgeous. It is absolutely beautiful. And you can build it up. It doesn't look cakey. It lasts for hours. Everything I'm telling you, showing you, is going to last all day. Because otherwise, I wouldn't bother with it. If you prefer a more full coverage foundation, 
there are two that I absolutely love. One of them I have been using every single day, I think for like the last week, and it is the Makeup Revolution. And for those of you that look down in my description box, you know that what I'm saying is the truth. It is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. This is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I have the other one, the, the new one. I like this one better. It is full coverage. I don't know if I would call it a luminous finish, but I know that many of you have said, wow, I really like your foundation today. I don't think it's luminous. I think it's more of a natural finish. At least that's what it seems like to me. Yeah, more of a natural, a natural finish. If you prefer more of a luminosity, then my suggestion is add something, um, a primer that has some luminosity to it. I saw Kathy from uh, Kathy's Beauty Care Chats the other day. She was talking about the L'Oreal Lumi. I think she compared it to the Laura Mercier Radiant. That would be something good to wear under this. Last all day, great coverage. I love it. The other foundation that I have is that I really, really enjoy is the one by LA Girl. This is the a, the Pro Coverage Foundation. They compare this to the Makeup Forever HD, the original formula, high coverage, luminous. It's not like the like the Makeup Revolution. This is about six or seven dollars. Love this. Great coverage, very inexpensive, under ten dollars. I really like this one. After my foundation, I start applying my concealer. I have three concealers here. One of them is the CoverGirl. If you prefer a very, if you need just minimal coverage, this one really does it. it surprisingly, even though it's one of this type, it is extremely, extremely creamy. It just doesn't offer an awful lot of coverage. So if you just need minimal or you just want a little brightening, I think this is a great one. If you would like a little bit more coverage and you want something that is very hydrating, my favorite in that category is the one from e.l.f. This is the Hydrating Camo Concealer. I love this one. This one offers more, more coverage, very hydrating. And it does, none of these cake or anything like that because otherwise I wouldn't use it. Next, <laughs> high coverage. You just need a tiny little bit. If you apply anything more than that, you are going to have a cake. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear. I really like it, but a drop goes a very, very long way. This one has a doe foot applicator, just a dot. Just a dot and this puppy goes to town. Yeah, great coverage though. If you need some correctors, one is from e.l.f. and this is the corrective concealer. You get, oops, you don't get that. Uh, you get for various correcting needs, whether it's for darkness or if you have, if you need a little bit of, if you've got dark circles, you know, use the peach. If you have some redness, uh, I think it's the green. I don't have any redness, so I rarely use that one. But you have what you need on this one, and this is also very affordable. M one of my favorites is the one by LA Girl, and this is a pink one. You get a little brush on there. You don't need an awful lot of any of these. But if you just need a little bit of correcting, this is a really nice one. Doesn't cake or anything like that. And the other one is the one by NYX. I love this one. This is more, the one that I have is, I think, I think mine is a medium shade, but it does an incredible job if you want to do some correcting. For powders, I have two powders and I don't use an awful lot of powders, but I really like both of these. Just a dusting. One is LA Girl, the Pro Powder. This is a really, really nice a powder. It's finely milled. It, it does a good job. The other one I purchased because I heard Kristen321 talking about it. And this one is the makeup. This is the Revolution Pro. 
and this is the hydrate mat. I've never used by Terry, but Kristen has, and Kristen said that it worked just as well. If you are a by Terry fan, if that's the powder that you like and you want to get something from the drugstore, I think this one works beautifully. I just can't tell you if I, I'm going by what Kristen had said in her video. I really like this one. Actually, I probably like this one even better than the LA Girl. For blushes, I have a few, and I have both cream and powder. Essence is, I think, right behind LA Girl, is one of my favorite brands from the drugstore. This one is, I think, the color on this is be befitting. Lasts all day, pigmented, looks beautiful. I think, I think this one is about $2.99. Just a lovely, lovely, lovely natural looking blush very pretty I think there are like maybe four or five shades in this the other drugstore blush that I really like is the one by flower beauty this one is in what sweet pea and it's that one until the focus is really pretty um leaning towards the mauve is this one so it's the the bottom one right there if you prefer a cream blush and they have become like my best friend uh, recently I love the one by uh, covergirl is this covergirl yeah I, covergirl I've got these three and what I do with these because they are so incredibly pigmented I just place a little dot on my hand you can do this with a beauty blender or you could do it with a stippling brush. And what I do is I spread it a little bit around my hand. Then you could take your stippling brush and just tap it in there and then go across your cheek. Or you can take your beauty sponge and tap it in and then apply it. It lasts all day. It doesn't budge. It looks beautiful. I really like it. For highlight, I think my favorite highlighter is from ColourPop. This one is in the shade Fire, and you've seen these hundreds of times. This is a one of these shock colors or something. Very creamy. I'm not sure if the camera's going to pick it up because of my skin tone. But this one's more like a gold color. So if you have a medium skin tone, you would like this one. If you are fair, you probably wouldn't like this one. But I really like these. These last forever. I don't remember how much they are. $12 maybe. The other one that I like is one from Milani. This one is Hy Hypnotic Lights. And my highlighters are usually on the gold tone. They're not like, what is that opal, I think, from Becca that, that are that kind of a white type of tint to it, I guess. Those don't look really good on me. I have to use the gold tone. You'll be able to see this one, I think. There it is right there. This is more like if you want to be seen from the moon somewhere or you want is the butter bronzer and I was never able to use the butter bronzer when they first came out to the drugstore but now they have little they have deeper tones and this is endless summer it's absolutely gorgeous yeah. they have these whether you're fair you have a fair complexion or you're you have a, a deeper complexion like I do you'll really like these as so you could really see the swatch of my hand. I was so excited when these came on the market and I said, yes, I can finally use a, a butter bronzer because the first ones that I bought, I had to give to the girls. I couldn't use them. Eyeliners. My favorite eyeliners from the drugstore are the ones by Ulta. I think these work so well. They are so creamy. These are gel liners. They sharpen nicely. They have a, a wide variety of shades that to choose from. I think that these are $8 a piece, 
but you could always find them on sale. Just creamy, long lasting. Now, bear in mind, I do not, I rarely wear a liner in my waterline. So keep that in mind. I have no idea how much they last. I usually use my liners for to, on my lower lash line underneath just to line it right there. Sometimes I use it on top of my, on, on my upper lid, but yeah. If you like cream shadows, I think the ones from Ulta, and I have one from Cover, I ha actually have more from CoverGirl, and I must have left it in Kansas because I can't find it here. But these work really nice. The one from CoverGirl, works beautifully i think i have like five of these I, I have no idea i must have i really must have left them over there so they spread nicely they don't crease they just look really really nice the ones from alta it's the same thing you have to work with these very quickly because once they dry that's it they're not going anywhere i i purchase very light shades but if you if you like cream shadows these work so well because you just place a little bit on your on your lid and some mascara a little bit of blush and you can go out the door or to hang around the house whatever the case may be my favorite lip liners are from essence i think these are just gorgeous they last they work really well they are creamy i have the ones that you have to sharpen and they work beautifully I also have, and I have the twist up as well. Beautiful. Actually, I think that one of these that I purchased is the same, it's the same color as the one from Lancome. And the difference in, in price is incredible. So if you need a lip liner that works well, that goes on smoothly, the ones from Essence over any of the other ones that I have used. All right, I've got some eyeshadow palettes. These from LA Girl, the Pro Mastery and the Pro Artistry. These are beautiful, beautiful palettes. I have talked at nauseum about these. These are now on sale at Ulta for $7.99. Great price. In case you haven't seen them, beautiful, beautiful shades. This is the Mastery one for $7.99. I thought, oh my gosh, that, that is an amazing price. And this is Artistry, and I'll show you this one. This is a lot more colorful. I think the other one, the Mastery, is a little bit user-friendly if you don't like a lot of color, but this one is really pretty, too. I think some of my favorite palettes, but these you have to order online, are the ones from Alter Ego. These are basically dupes for high-end, specifically, I think, for Natasha Denona. There is... It's incredible the way these shadows work. These are under $20. I, they're between $16, $18. I grab for these so often. I have the Sahara. I've got the Aurora. Beautiful, beautiful. They have such a, a lasting power. They blend so well. It, it's, it's just, they're just beautiful. And... This one is the Goddess palette. This is probably my favorite from the three. Beautiful, beautiful palette. The other brand that is very inexpensive, even more so than the Alter Ego, is the C, the C Color Cosmetics. This palette is a dupe for the Sultry palette. This is the Feverish palette. I think that this is about $8.00. And I have swatched them. I think others here on YouTube have swatched them as well. And color for color are almost identical. Once they're on the eye, you cannot tell the difference. They are blendable, they're creamy, they're velvety smooth, they last long. They're, this is feverish. This is the one that is a dupe for the, um, for the Sultry palette. The other one that I love from C Color Cosmetics is the Around the World. I did a video, I think it was last summer, using, I did one eye with this palette and I did the other eye using the Born to Run palette by Urban Decay. I think this one, this palette is about $8. Right, the last thing I have for you are some lipsticks and I really want to share these with you. 
These I haven't talked about. I bought these about three weeks ago and some of you have complimented me on the lipstick. These are new ones from Essence. They are gorgeous. They last as long as the lipstick lasts. They are so smooth. They're so hydrating and they are so affordable. I don't know, $2.99 maybe and they were I think it was last week I saw them on Ulta and they were like buy one get one half off. I'll leave the colors down in the description box because I can't, I don't have my glasses on but isn't that pretty? So smooth and so pretty. Pretty little packaging too with the gold and the white. And I have, I love these so much that I ordered two more. I have two more that are coming. Beautiful. These are more like my type of nudes. Sometimes I wear this one and then I apply a little bit of the other one, like right in the center. I wanted to try these. So these I also, this one I also ordered about three weeks ago. This is almost mauve, I think. Something mauve. This is Spicy Mauve by Maybelline. That's how the packaging works. This is more like a hydrating, pigmented, tinted balm. Very, very pretty. I would like to get some more of these because they're very comfortable. I think it looks like a, a, a very pretty sheen for during the summer. I usually don't like wet and wild lipsticks, but they came out with this one. Really pretty with the little lips there. Hmm. Looks familiar to me. And it says that it's hydrating. And boy, oh boy, they were not kidding. That's this color. Like I said, I'll leave the colors for you down below. My camera turned off, so I had to let <laughs> let it cool down a little bit. I guess I've been talking too long. All right, the very last product that I have to show you is this, because this, this was such a surprise to me. Once again, it's from Essence, and it is their lip gloss. This is not sticky at all, at all. It works pretty much like the Buxom would work at a much lower price, and it doesn't do any plumping. I don't know if they claim to plump. I don't think it plumps if they, yeah, it's just uh, shine. Very shiny. If you're a 70s girl like me, you would love these because these are very shiny and not sticky. They're not uncomfortable. Really nice, very affordable. Love it. All right, all right. Those are my Shop My Stash drugstore products. Products that I really think are worth it to have in the collection, to have in the makeup bag. If you're starting a makeup bag, I think these are great to have. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them down below. Thank you, everyone. I hope everyone is staying safe. I hope everyone is well. I hope everyone is staying positive and playing with your stash. Thank you, everyone. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And don't forget, ladies, follow your passion, whatever it may be. I'll see you next time. Bye.